Okay, so I'm just going to quickly talk to you about sulfur. So, um, in the body, sulfur is found as sulfonyl sulfur, and it's water soluble, and it is lost every 12 hours in normal excretion. Um, this is important because you may want to do twice daily supplementation, for instance. Um, the other thing is that sulfur rich foods include eggs, fish, vegetables like garlic and onion, dairy, cabbage, beef, and dried beans. And you must note that you lose sulfur content the more you cook, the longer you cook the food, um, and the longer you store it. So um, if you also chop the food into smaller pieces before you cook it, you'll lose more sulfur from it. Now, in hair growth, hair has 35% sulfur containing amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. These amino acids include things like methionine and cysteine. Um, the sulfur reaches your hair follicle from the bloodstream and the sulfur is used for producing collagen and keratin. So keratin obviously hair and nails skin and um, have it and actually keratin is everywhere but some tissues are less keratinized and some are more keratinized like our hair and nails. Um, and collagen you know um, it tends to be in the cartilages which align your joints for shock absorbers. Um, the next thing is that sulfur helps provide nutrition to the hair cells to keep them alive and to f help form new healthy hair cells. So in creams and shampoos you tend to find MSM which is sorry which is methyl sulfonyl methane. This is my um, MSM oral supplement which here supports joint comfort and mobility. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's the non-toxic, non-allergenic, safe to use type of sulfur and it's also, they act as antioxidants. So you find those are the, that's the kind of sulfur you find mixed into shampoos and creams as well as for the oral supplementation. Um, one of my, uh, one of the sites I was looking on said something like 700 milligrams of sulfur um, a day for the, um, for oral supplementation if you are low in sulfur. Um, the other thing is that keratin within the hair strand is linked by strong sulfur bonds. So you can see the sulfur is very important within the hair strand as well as um, in the follicle helping to keep the hair cells alive for longer and for new healthy cell pr um, production. So healthy hair cell production. Now, if you're gonna take oral sulfur supplements, um, thing is, um, if you are low in sulfur, there are ways to find out, like you may have dry skin, you may have hair that's brittle and breaking, research first. The other thing is, if you are going to start taking supplements, start at a lower dose. So for instance, I started I at started a lower dose than this. Start a low dose and work up, because you, there are side effects, you can have side effects to it. Because, um, for instance, this says take one to four capsules daily, preferably with meals and then do not exceed stated dose. I tried taking two capsules once and I got such bad heartburn and acid, and acid reflux um, that I had to go back to just taking one a day. So for me, probably in the amounts of sulfur that I get from my diet and other vitamins and minerals and this, I'm obviously getting enough with just one of these extra every day and any extra I take on top of that is giving me the side effects. So um, do be careful, um, but yeah, sulfur can be important. Any, any faster growth or thicker growth that you see um, may, be to sh may show that you either have a deficiency in sulfur or it's just the sulfur's properties itself which is that it prolongs the hair cycle by keeping the hair cells alive for longer, um, you know, the follicle alive for longer, um, so thereby reducing shedding, or the fact that it helps form new healthy hair cells, so you get the thickness in the hair that you see from the root upwards. So for instance, when I, since I've been taking MSM, I know that my hair has been thicker. Um, and I don't know about shedding because I still shed a, head, uh, a lot, but that's just me. I know that my, <laughs> and I still, I also take garlic supplements, but I still shed a lot. So I know that my normal for me is to shed quite a bit of hair, but I still have a lot of hair on my head. So that's the important thing, that I have more hair on my head. So that's how sulfur is in relation to hair growth. Um, 
So you can do some more research, find out whether you want to try it out, but as always with any supplement, um, make sure you're taking as much of a healthy, balanced diet as you can, and then start low with any supplements and build up gradually in dosage. Alright, thanks for watching.